So we're going to talk about sprueing methods for 3D printed parts, and there's a couple of ways you can design your parts to come pre-sprued. Most of these components were printed flat and then thermally bent over to make the sprue tree. You can see here it's PLA to PLA fusion and then PLA to PLA with wax as a joiner just to show different methods of assembly. Or you can design your part to just print in a stackable conformation. The only thing you need to consider when you've 3D printed your parts and you've done the entire assembly is the specific weight for doing your metal calculation is different than that of wax. And depending on the infill that you've 3D printed your part at, you're not going to get the same volumetric calculation because if you've printed something that's got 8% infill, it's not going to behave the same as something with 100% infill. So oftentimes you can't get away with weighing your printed part just like you would weigh your wax. So at this point we're going to just use Archimedes principle. We're going to take this vessel of water. We're going to take our printed part and you can see that we have on here no marks where the water line is. So we're going to let that settle and it's just above a pint. But what we want to do is just mark what the water line comes up to when we fully submerge our part. Okay, so there is our part fully submerged, and we just mark the index of where that water line is, okay? So I know to the top of my mark is the volume of my printed part. So when you take your part out and you shake it off, the index of that water line changes slightly, okay? So you can see that we have our index here. And the water line is about one millimeter below. And so what we need to do is determine how much metal needs to go in to be equivalent. Okay. And so that can be done very simply by just taking pieces of silver and dropping them in until you reach the volume of your line. So right now I'm just taking components that I've cast previously. And so we're above the water line, and then we want to add enough for our button. This is a good volume for a button. So we know that we're slightly over, and some for good luck. So now we know we have our exact volume matched. And you can either just say everything that's in the bucket is what I'm going to use for the volume of my cast part, and that would be this piece here. or you can take that metal and you can weigh it on a scale and write that number down for later in case you don't have the same metal with you. 